Just a quick intro, welcome to Hilda Lamb Farms uh, YouTube channel. We appreciate you guys being here. This video is highlight of us building our brooder for the chicks coming in next week. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and comment in the comments below. And we appreciate you guys. Yeah, so here we are. We're just uh, gonna fast forward this a little bit. This is two times speed and uh, you know, it's a long video if I hadn't done it this way just because of all of the footage, still working through some of the recording disciplines and just figuring out how to make this all work together. So here you can see like the consequences of having a small yard and doing all this stuff. Like I'm going to be moving a lot of stuff a lot of times, but uh, I was fortunate enough to have a wood pile on hand that uh, some of it was acquired from my friend and then uh, me and another buddy uh, pulled the old pine that you see in front from a old lumber yard that a guy was cleaning out. So it's kind of helpful to know people and to get hookups and you help them go pull stuff out for them and they give you a little bit too. And so I just wanted to double check and make sure all my links were good and I'm really just interested in ripping some of these two by sixes down and these two by fours down so that I can build a chicken brooder. By no means am I actually a carpenter or have a lot of experience. I've done some small projects. In fact, it's kind of funny because um, I used to say I can build that, I can build that, but I really had never built anything and except a desk uh, for my artwork bench really. And so uh, it's funny because that workbench was not in the greatest sturdiness ever known to man and my wife was like you can't build anything look at your workbench you got to start small and so I've just been slowly working my way up earning her trust and uh, building things as we go I redid our deck was probably the biggest project that I've taken on and by redo our deck I don't mean the whole thing I just mean the railing and so it was a pretty simple task nonetheless so um, I didn't add a lot of the cutting and stuff just because it was really redundant and I wanted to get to the point of putting the stuff together and so when we hit that point you'll see the film catch up or speed up a lot more um, just to kind of give the idea like a time lapse unfortunately it didn't record all of it and so it ends a little bit prematurely but uh, the next video that we put out will be the completed thing I do want to say this if you have a capability to have wood on hand and you don't have it covered, you might want to consider that. I was ripping these boards, they were soaked. I went through a saw blade really fast and then even one night when I was cutting it all, um, I ended up, my, my wood stuck, my wood froze. And so I had, to, I had to stop early, otherwise I would have had this done a day earlier. So it was inconvenient. And also you can tell I'm Mr. Safety here. I got, I got no, well, I don't even want to tell on myself. If you can spot my errors, then you go ahead uh, and leave a comment down in the, uh, down in the comments below and uh, tell the world all of my safety flaws. Uh, I guess one fact of recording everything you do is that nothing is in secret anymore. And that's all right. I'm going to be okay with it. So you know it is what it is maybe you'll be okay with it too so here we go I apologize for the flickering lights kind of kind of stinks um I was using some lighting that just wasn't the best but we went to we went to you know ludicrous speed here to to try to get this thing uh done in a timely manner but I really just wanted to make something that was six and a half feet by well, excuse me, six feet by two and a half feet and enough room for 60 birds right now. Uh, but I'm only planning on putting 30 in there and I really just was trying to figure out the best design possible. So I, I had to make a lot of trips back to the saw to try to get things fit in, which were all edited out of here. Uh, so you're not going to see that stuff, but it did happen. And so right here, I just wanted to reinforce all of my my vertical beams right now what you're seeing up in the air is the actual floor and i stabilized all of the the vertical arms up four across and i'll end up putting ripped two by sixes along all of the walls to build up the walls and so 
nothing real fancy just something big enough to be able to fit in the shed like I talked about in the last video and still maneuver around and get to things I wanted it to be light enough that I can move it I'm gonna have to get pretty creative on what that looks like in terms of moving it by myself uh, it is pretty heavy I'm hoping that it does get a little bit lighter once the wood dries out but we'll have to wait and see how that all goes so I do have tentative plans if it doesn't get lighter once everything dries out to put some bolts into one of the ends and put some lawnmower wheels on it that I can that I can slap on there and, and, and pull it around as I need to. So that's where we're at with that. I started putting on this short side just to get some stability into it and see if it worked and I brought my beautiful little daughter in to validate how high it was I, I didn't want it to be so high that they wouldn't be able to enjoy the chicks you know and, and it I think I had it at three feet um, what you're seeing there in the vertical slats was was too high for her to be able to see it without a stool and I want them to be able to enjoy the chicks and to be a part of this and so I opted I opted to uh, cut about six inches off maybe a little bit more from from that and, and I think the chicks will be fine plus we want to put a screen on it just in case the cats get into the shed or anything else like that they have some protection from anything that could make its way into the shed that is curious or anything else that could kill the chicken so so it really doesn't matter how tall it is and that's my story and I'm sticking to it well listen guys thanks we appreciate you guys tuning in this week uh, hopefully you stick with us through the hard times of learning how to do all of this YouTube stuff, video editing. My beautiful wife will start getting on it sooner or later. We just are trying to get off the ground with this and explore and experiment. Thank you.